rest on a skateboard, so let's visualize that. So we have a skateboard, and here's the kid on top of it. The ball is coming at him. Okay, its mass is, I believe it's four kilograms, and it's moving at 15 meters per second. So the ball's mass is four, and the V for the ball is 15 meters per second. The boy and the skateboard have a mass of 50, and they're at rest. So all the momentum is here, no momentum here. All the energy is here, no energy here. And then when he catches the ball, right, we know that the momentum has to be conserved. So we can figure out what the new velocity is. And then from there, we can figure out how much kinetic energy is here, and then figure out how much potential it will have when it gets up to the top of the hill when the boy is holding onto the ball. Right, so what we want to know is his height. All right, so in this problem, first you've got to look at momentum. So anytime there's a collision or an explosion, you've got to do momentum because the energy won't be conserved because they're going to be inelastic. And then you look at the energy anytime there's a change in height. Okay. So first, let's look at momentum and conserve the momentum. So the momentum of the ball is 4 times 15, and the momentum of the boy is 50 times 0. So that is the initial momentum in the system. And then afterwards, the masses are combined, so it's one mass with one velocity, that velocity being 1.11 meters per second. All right, so now we know what their velocity is, and now we have enough information to figure out what the kinetic energy is. So I'm going to use our equation for conservation of mechanical energy. And my reference level will be the bottom of the hill. So we're starting out at a height of zero, and when he gets to the top of the hill, the um, final kinetic energy will be zero. So now that gives us enough to solve for HF. So if we looked at what our equation was, it was the initial kinetic <coughs> equals the final potential. So that's one half. Now the mass is all the mass combined, so 54 moving at 1.11. We've got to square that. So that kinetic energy gets raised to a certain height. So 54 times 9.8 times HF. So then you solve for HF and get point. 0 0.06 meters. So that's what this is, 0 0.06 meters. We have a bird perched on a swing. So if you picture that's a swing, and then we're going to put a bird on it. So now they're both just hanging out, and there's no momentum, right, because everybody's at rest. And then the bird's going to take off and go that way at 4 meters per second, so he's going to take momentum with him that way. When he does that, when the bird goes this way, he's going to have some velocity. That's going to give the swing some velocity, because he has to push off, and therefore the swing is going to swing up to a certain height, and that would be, we could find that if we know the potential energy of the swing. So to start, let's see here, we got the mass of the bird is 0 0.040. So we're going to start out by looking at momentum. So do momentum again. And so the mass of the bird is 0 0.040. And initially he's at rest. So we could, we could say that his velocity is 0. And the mass of the swing is 0 0.125. It's also at rest. So there's no momentum in the system before the interaction. And then afterwards, the bird goes to the right at four meters per second. And the swing is gonna to go to the left with an amount or the velocity that gives the same momentum in the other direction. So VF. So VF is gonna be negative 1.28 meters per second. So the swing is going to come this way at 1.28. Now like in the last problem, we can now determine how much energy the swing had and then figure out the uh, potential energy and then the height. 
So the initial kinetic of the swing is one half times the mass of the swing times its speed squared, and that is equal to its final potential. So now you can solve for HF for the swing, and HF is 0 0.084 meters. Let's look at something here. Basketball. Uh, I got Ryan's attention. Alright. Cheap basketball. Walmart basketball. $2.99. Alright. Reference level is the floor. The ball has what kind of energy right now? Right? Gravitational potential. I'm going to let it go. And it keeps going lower and lower, right? Doesn't reach my hand. Right? Because, why? loses energy, right, to thermal and sound, right? So there was thermal energy and then sound energy, so it doesn't reach to my to the same height every time. Picture what happens, the ball compresses, right, stores some of the energy, and then when it springs back to shape, it basically pushes off the ground and raises up again. All right, so potential became kinetic. Tennis ball, same idea, yeah. Both. And the floor. Okay. We hit the floor too. Yeah. Good question. Same thing, right? Losing energy. Losing mechanical energy to other forms. Okay. Which one has more gravitational potential energy right now? Why the basketball? Greater mass, right? Same height, same G, greater mass, more gravitational potential. So which will have greater kinetic? Right, when they reach the floor, the basketball will have more kinetic. Okay. Which one returns more energy, do you think? Probably the basketball, right? It seems to be getting closer to its original height than the tennis ball. It's close, though. All right. So what if I did this? Transfers its energy to the tennis ball. What does the tennis ball do with all that energy? It has to go up, right? But can you do it again? I want to watch the basketball. Yeah, so that's I want to focus on that too. So let's watch. I'm going to drop from right around here. So watch how high the ball goes here, right? Goes about here, I guess. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Now if I, I don't. I think I dropped from around here. Oops, that was bad. That was bad because I didn't. We saw the ball didn't go nearly as high, right? Watch the basketball. It hardly goes at all. Right, much lower. Was that lower? Yeah. Because right, the energy doesn't have the energy now. The energy is in this guy. Bigger than was. Where did the teachers below you think? <laughs> I'll see him at lunch. I'll ask him. It's fields. So what if I do this? I was wondering. Let's reverse it. right on top it just kind of dies right there. Yeah. So it's not nearly the same effect. Alright, here's a
Now, what if I, what if I stand uh, on here and do it? What's going to change? Uh, the height, right? Which means yeah. what? More energy. More energy. So the ball should feel higher, right? Yeah. We got to the chair might break, but we won't go there. So cool. Thank you. Yep. That was awesome. Do we get no, it? We have got video, by the way. If you want me to send your portion, I can. Oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Globetrotters. <laughs> we'll send us an Glo audition tape to the Globetrotters. Absolutely. I get intimidated. Can't Is shoot, can't dribble anything else. I don't know. I guess so. Why don't you put Dave on the Probably no. throw. What? Is that safe? What? Is that safe? What's safe? Me. <laughs> Actually, I'm safe. Uh-huh. Here we go. <laughs> that was Steve. Yeah. Steve. He left. He left. I just want to get into the thing.